This video is all about transforming a room from something that was dated into something that was modern and fresh. I made this video for you to follow along so you could get the confidence to go ahead and transform any room in your house. So grab some tools, let's get to work. The first thing in any project is demo. In this case, moldings have to come off the wall and the rug has to be torn up. So as you can see, I am ripping up the rug, putting it into sections so it's easier to haul out. This is a very handy technique when removing carpet. It allows you to handle carpet pieces a lot easier. Always make sure the power is off when you're hand dealing with light fixtures or ceiling fans. Next up, we need to repair the walls where it's been damaged and there's holes left over from the chair molding. Since it's a small section, we could go ahead and use texture in a can to spray on the orange peel texture to blend it seamlessly. Now that the texture has dried, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and cover it with a primer. As you can see here, the walls are painted the same as the ceiling. I'd never recommend doing that. There's always should be a contrast between the two. A lot of people make this mistake. They try to make the first coat go on perfect. That's right, they wanna make that line as close to the ceiling as possible. In doing so, you might end up with more mistakes. Take your time when rolling. It doesn't have to be a race. You're gonna want even strokes that go up and down and make sure that there's full coverage and you don't run out of paint.
This should be obvious, but make sure you vacuum the floor up before putting down the underlayment so there's no debris or dust or anything that's going to be left under your floors to cause you problems down the road. Take your time when installing underlayment so that way there's no unnecessary tears or hiccups you're going to run across. This type of flooring that I will be installing requires underlayment. Now there's other types of floors out there that doesn't require underlayment. Just read the instructions on whatever floor you're going to be putting down. These floors were really easy to install. I could go ahead and make a separate video about the installation process. Go ahead and comment below if that's something that you would like to see in the future. One thing that I would recommend is when installing any type of floor, whether if it's a laminate or a luxury vinyl plank, make sure you go ahead and have the proper tools. The cutter and all the extra mallets and pry bars just made this job so much easier to work. An oscillating tool makes easy work putting this trim to make sure that the floor fits under it perfectly. All floors are going to have a certain type of pattern that they're going to want you to recommend to install. I personally like a randomized pattern, and that's what you see me laying down right here. Floor is complete, now it's time to go ahead and install new baseboards.
This fan was very easy to install and I was able to find it on Amazon. I'll go ahead and leave the links in the description for you to find it. There you have it, job is complete. Real simple to do, anybody could do it. It's a great weekend project. We were able to keep the budget under $1,000 for this transformation. If you guys like what you saw, go ahead and comment below. Thanks again for watching everyone. As always, stay handy my friends. See you on the next one.